Hi, I'm Carol Brown with Equipping Minds, here to invite you to our annual conference, April 15th through 19th in Frankfort, Kentucky. But why should you come? Well, if you are a teacher or a parent or a therapist who is working with children or adults who are struggling to process what they see and they hear, to hold on to multiple step directions, to comprehend what they're reading, to make good choices. If you've heard diagnoses such as executive functioning disorder, fetal alcohol syndrome, dyslexia, ADHD, or maybe you have a child with PAN syndrome or Down syndrome, fetal alcohol syndrome, post-concussion syndrome, any syndrome, and you have been told that their working memory or their processing or their IQ is, is fixed and that there's really very little that you can do to change that. Well, I want to tell you that there is hope and our mission is to equip you. Now, Equipping Minds is a very holistic program. So when someone participates in our program, and you can participate just by purchasing it online and watching the training videos and using the teacher workbook, or you can work with one of our therapists doing online therapy, or you can do our more advanced program called Roses, which has numerous training for each step of the way and a therapist available to help you. Or you may need to be at conference Maybe you are an educational therapist who has so many things in your toolbox, but you just can't get past certain levels. It seems like some students have plateaued. Maybe you feel that as a homeschool parent. Maybe you feel that as a psychiatrist in your practice, or you work in the VA. Wherever God has placed you, you can come here for three to five days and get certified in our program. We will be learning about reflex integration therapy, nutritional therapy, vision therapy, sound therapy, vestibular therapy. We're gonna be digging deeper this year into the effect of trauma and abuse on students and how healing can be brought there. You'll see two experts in that field who will be joining us. And then, of course, the Equipping Minds Cognitive Games that you'll be learning. And so through that, you're going to have times to hear from other therapists, to hear from experts in the field, to have myself train you through the program so that you can put this into your private practice, into your school, into your home, wherever it is that you are because our mission truly is to equip you to do this. So I want to share a short little clip from last year's conference from a mom who had been using Equipping Minds, and now she has opened a center to start working with people in her area. Good morning. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, I've learned so much this week about fine tuning what we're doing with Equipping Minds at Home. So I'm excited to get back and do that. Um, well, we, our lives were kind of a bit turned upside down um, when I was just two, diagnosed with some uh, heart defect and different things, by the way. And they said, you have to get her tested. Um, get genetic tests because this is so unusual and uh, my husband said no for a year <laughs> and I had kind of known from the beginning something's unusual but different um, moms know <laughs> and so we got a diagnosis of Turner syndrome which we had never heard of before and um, it's it varies wildly from child to child so here we go home in shock with stacks and stacks of papers about what we might expect. And um, when that shock kind of wore off and life went back to normal, um, my husband and I decided that 
there wouldn't be accommodations. <laughs> um, that we would do everything we could and set the bar really high for Iris, but we didn't know what we were going to do for school. We were already homeschooling our older two children, Karis and Blaze. And so um, I prayed a lot because at the point I was not enjoying homeschooling at all. I thought I was bad at it. <laughs> My kids were unhappy. It was hurting our relationship. Um, by the end, two o'clock, we're sick of each other, sick of books, sick of worksheets. And I, I kept thinking, okay, God, I know this is what you want us to do. Why aren't we having fun? And the 2017 TPA convention, which is a really big homeschool convention, the keynote speaker happened to be this lady named Dr. Carol Brown. And my mom, she's here. She's a homeschool mom. She homeschooled me, my brother. Now she's homeschooling my oldest daughter. And um, we live next door, so it's a short trip. <laughs> um, and I was at convention feeling really desperate for answers and like time was running out and we were there, we could shop and I didn't know, are we just going to get the same old curriculum we've done for Iris? And I, I thought that's wrong. So my mom went in to hear Carol speak. I went to a different class on like uh, raising gentlemen. This is a class about raising boys and came out. My mom said, hurry, hurry. They're going to run out of supplies down at Equipping Mines. <laughs> you, you have to go down there right now before the class gets totally dismissed. And everybody crowds, trust me, this is going to work for Iris. I just know that you need to do this with her. And it is the curriculum. You don't do anything else. You just do this. And so I went down and um, I got to know Carol's husband a little bit. And I played Stroop and I felt dumb. <laughs> I was like, this is so hard. And, um, and we did spot it the way that Iris just did, and I couldn't name any of the animals on the, um, the card that was hidden. So um, we got it, and I felt like really like renewed hope, everything could change. And um, Iris, who's so willing, she's so eager, and that's really what it takes. <laughs> Her heart is all in when it comes to the serious business of playing games, <laughs> <laughs> doing number hunt we take it very seriously we had fun so we did that um we started right away and i thought okay this is really overwhelming there's a lot in this teacher's manual we started with just blink we played just blink day after day and it was very very slow that's probably taken us longer than anything else to get to where we are with blink right now then we added in stroop and set and pretty soon we're doing number hunt Bell hunt and it has just been incredible um, and the, I'd say our the most astonishing thing was when Iris just picked up books and started reading them I I didn't want to teach her to read because it's about as fun as potty training in my mind <laughs> um, so she picks up these books and they were from our kindergarten curriculum we first used with my oldest daughter Karis and she starts making letter sounds making the middle vowel sounds. These are three letter words. Pretty soon she's reading the whole book. And my husband goes, did you read that to her? Did she have it memorized? I said, no. I, I took a video to show to his parents. I'm like, she's reading this and I have not read that to her. And, uh, and then at that point I thought, I need to call Carol because this is just so incredible. And she said, did you play set? I said, yes, we played set. That's really fun. And we also have set junior. Yes. Um, Iris and Gwen play Set Junior totally by themselves. It's really fun. And Gwen, you play? Yes. You play Set Junior? Oh. <laughs> and I'm teaching her how to do the presidents and reading. Oh! oh. <laughs> I have a five-year-old who's reading and never had a single reading lesson because I was dreading doing it and I didn't want to do it. And I thought, we're just going to wait. We're having fun. Why? And now she's picking up books. She read one to my mom that I packed for the car trip that she had never seen because I thought mm -hmm. she likes to have surprises. And it was one that my daughter and son read the latter half of their first grade year. And she read the whole thing to my mom at the hotel. And um, I would say now not everybody's perfect. Like <laughs> um, retelling stories is very difficult. Um, but 
I just can't, I can't get enough of the reading and she reads to Gwen and um, also, by the way, my son, I call him the Equipping Minds Ninja. <laughs> he just plows through the steps. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you are, you are exceeding what I can do now. We need to slow down so I can catch up. <laughs> and his reading has just gone through the roof. He didn't want to read, resisted it. Now he reads novels. So he goes away to his room, to the sofa. I don't see him. He reads, and he's read all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books he could get his hands on. Um, loving it and so now we're going home and and we are going to stop now if you've still been watching and you got to see one of my favorite clips from conference last year that's why we do what we do so please contact me if you would like to attend conference or you can just hit the registration on the website if you already have your 2018 book and you're not going to um, need to get that it does come with your registration but if you already have it let me know and I'll give you a special coupon code that you'll get a reduced fee if anybody needs a scholarship please contact me we also let you do no interest payment plans um, our desire truly is to equip you that many of you all will have stories like Kelsey and Iris, um, like the gal at the Learning Center whose students come in because there's hope. And so I just invite you to our annual conference, April 15th through 19th in Frankfort, Kentucky.